Hello there, I'm Felicity Barr with the top stories on Al Jazeera. The Syrian government's denied that rebels managed to hit President Assad's motorcade in Damascus. But rebel fighters who claim to have carried out the attack have told Al Jazeera a different story. Liwa al-Islam attacked the official motorcade of Bashar al-Assad in the Malki area next to the mosque of Malik ibn Anas. We attacked it with a number of rockets and we can confirm that the attack hit the target. We have monitors in the area who confirm that the attack hit some of the president's guards. It also hit checkpoints in the area. It was at 7.20 in the morning. We don't have information whether Assad was in that convoy or in the mosque. In Egypt, the Eid holiday is being overshadowed by what the European Union and the US are calling a dangerous political stalemate. This was the scene outside Rabah Mosque in Cairo's Naza city a few hours earlier as pro-Morsi supporters gathered for prayers. The area has been the focal point of protests calling for the reinstatement of Mohamed Morsi. On Wednesday, the interim prime minister had warned pro-Morsi protesters to leave the area. And international flights are slowly resuming at Kenya's main airport in Nairobi, a day after a fire destroyed the arrivals hall. Airport officials say they're hoping to resume a normal service by midnight on Thursday. It's still not clear what caused Wednesday's fire. Of course, you can find much more on all those stories and more at aldezira.com.